Good morning everyone. Uh, in this video today I'm going to show you another simple way to get free energy out of air. Uh, it's actually, it is free energy but it's actually stealing energy from the power line. Everybody well know that uh, power lines are very, they carry a lot of a lot of energy. The power lines can be between uh, 12 kilowatts to 20 kilowatts to 50 kilowatts to 120 up to 250 so 250 kilowatts a lot of energy and uh, whenever a current uh, flow through like a cable we have an electromagnetic field around it and of, of course out of like 12 kilowatts the, the the electromagnetic field would be like strong so perhaps you can catch it with a simple device called antenna this is what i made this is my project for you guys and with this one we're going to prove that we have free energy it's the frequency is between 50 and 60 hertz so perhaps you want to make end up making a long long antenna however this kind of antenna is called double dipole antenna with a in a transformer configuration so the electromagnetic field will be our primary coil of our transformer and this one is going to be the secondary coil the secondary winding but it's as you can see it's an antenna it's, a, it's called double dipole this is a simple capacitor. This capacitor will catch the frequency. So as you can see, it's an LC circle, circle, very simple. It's uh, 1.5 millimeters uh, copper wire. Uh, it can be with or without enamel. So it can be coated, not a problem. It's just an antenna. It's uh, windings are approximately like 20 windings from one side, where there are actually five to the other side but you can play with it, it's not a big of a deal. This is the overall device, very light, very simple. Everything is mounted on a PVC pipe. Uh, doesn't really matter the color, I just, that's what I found, the Home Depot, so. We have this center cable that is connected. One thing to say is that our capacitor, this one is polyester. Don't use any electrolytic capacitor. That one is that polarized, plus and minus. Don't want to use it. It might pop. Boom. You want to use something like this. It can be ceramic, polyester, whatever you want, but not electrolytic. So the center cable, center copper wire goes through the, our PVC pipe and it comes out to be our power outlet. You are the ground, so it's simple as that. You can either hold it with your hands or just pull like a pole and stick into the ground, into the soil or whatever your backyard is. Everything is connected from the two poles up here. They're not welded, it's okay. They're not soldered, it's fine as long as they touch. As you can see inside, there is nothing special. It's pretty empty. Can you see that? Beautiful. To the other side, it's just to protect the wire. Inside here we have just just this cable that goes all the way up here. And with this device we are going to gather 120 volts to power your house. Perhaps you can do something bigger than this uh, and perhaps you can make multiple of these so you can have, you know, they're very light and simple to make. Simple as that. So now let's go outside and check out if we have any power line is nearby. I'll see you later. All right, that's our power line out there. That's what I got outside my place. It's only 15, 20 kilovolts, so that should be enough for our experiment. All right, it's time to test my device, uh, my dipole antenna transformer. As I said, it's very easy to make. And uh, our power line is just out here, behind this wall. And uh, well, today's, today my choice was either to put this thing outside forever and get free energy for the rest of my life, or make a YouTube videos for you guys. And that's what I decided to do, make a YouTube video. Uh, so, we're going to test this guy with a simple light bulb, I mean, nothing special with it. Uh, um, That's all I've got today. And uh, plug, which is right here. All we have to do basically is point the device 
uh, towards that way, which is uh, northwest. Uh, it doesn't have to be can be approximately, you know, not a big deal since I'm very close to it, to the power line. So uh, let's go ahead and test it. We do have energy, right, guys? And this is very simple to make. This is the proof that we do have free energy. So please subscribe and thumb up. Can you help? Right. Oops. So, wanna try it one more time, and uh, one more time will be this guy here. It's not as bright as supposed to be. Perhaps you can make a bigger antenna or get like a power energy, you know, energy saving light, and that would be much, much brighter. However, that's how I power for free my house. All right. And this is my device as usual. I'm gonna put all the components in the description uh, and you can make one yourself at home. And uh, as I said, I got no assistance up. Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. We have free energy. Don't tell anyone, okay? Thank you for watching. Woo! And as always, it comes to the um, component list uh, that I will post in the description. And it's very simple. It's made out of like um, two inches PVC pipe, any kind. So, Lithium batteries, as always, I love lithium batteries. They're so small, though, so powerful. So you tell me what is the lithium batteries about? Lithium batteries, it will go all the way down to here. This is a switch that will power our LED stupid light. This is an LED inside. I made this one to trick you guys. I hope you guys are not mad at me now. Ta-da! Simple LED, and uh, of course, this is a stupid device that it will never, never, never work. Nothing is connected, nothing. <laughs> they used to believe in free energy. Well, <laughs> this is an empty LED light bulb. Do you still believe in free energy? Good for you, but please, thumb up and subscribe for my channel.